Good morning, YouTube. It is currently Wednesday morning. I had to think of what day it was for a second because I'm losing track over here. Um, it's Wednesday morning. I got up not too long ago. But today, I just need to do a lot around the house. I need to pack up her newborn drawer and switch it all around. I've started to switch some of it around, but I need to like officially pack up her newborn clothes, label and put them in a tote and store them for future kids, which I'm dreading doing. But I just have a lot to do around the house today. I might go to my mom's and work out for a little bit because they have a gym in their garage. We're starting to get a little gym going in our garage, but there's not enough for what I want to do. Um, but yeah, it's currently 920. We got up about 730-ish. Um, and I fed her, gave her her first round of medicine this morning. Um, and then we've just kind of been watching YouTube. I'm probably going to finish this YouTube video. It's Lauren Wilcom. She just posted a new, like, day in the life stay at home mom vlog. So I'm gonna finish watching that. And then I'm gonna put myself together. I need to film some TikToks. Um, do like three loads of laundry. Just, you know, the typical stay at life and stay at home mom thing. So, it's so your reminder to go fill up your water and stay hydrated today. I lied. I was about to go finish watching that YouTube video, but Lila was sitting in her chair and she woke up. So, we're going to get ready while you're awake. So that way I can have that video later when I'm breastfeeding. Because I like to watch videos when I'm breastfeeding. Yeah. Okay, so I just got dressed. I think I'm going to change her diaper and go ahead and get her in her outfit for today because she's still in her sleeper. It's still only 940, but get her ready for the day. And then I'm going to start some laundry because I have several loads. And if I don't start this morning, it's just not going to get done. So I'm going to get her ready for the day. While I was getting ready, our new thing has been to listen to Disney music <laughs> and I'll set her up, you know, like if I take this angel care thing literally all around the house with me and I have a blanket on it and I'll just pick her up in it and carry it around and I'll like put her in the kitchen with me while I'm cooking or whatever and I'll play Disney music and she loves me singing to her. She just sits there and kicks and smiles and talks to mom. Yeah. But she's always so happy and alert in the mornings. So after I get her ready, I'll set her on the floor for tummy time, start the little laundry, and then we'll have like our morning play time. And then I gotta clean all that later, but it'll get done. I just got her set up. Oh, bless you. Got her dressing, got her set up in her room to do some little playtime. Uh, I have her on her back right now while I go put the little laundry in uh, before I put her on her tummy just so I can monitor her. Um, I like to lay in here and read her and stuff when she's doing tummy time. But this is our little setup. I always set her on a little blanket because uh, our dog likes to come lay on the carpet, which I'm not gonna tell him not to because that he feels left out. So, but he gets a lot of hair on the carpet. So I just like to lay a clean blanket down so she's not all in the hair. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is so fun. But I'm gonna let her do that. I go start laundry and then I'm gonna pack up her newborn clothes. So we'll see how that goes. So I just filmed the TikTok with her newborn clothes 
packing them up. Yeah. And Little Miss is playing on her back right now. But now I'm gonna go through and like sort them because she was so skinny and tiny when she was first born that we had to get some preemie stuff for her. Yeah, this actually never fit. We got it a little too late. Uh, yeah, we did. But I'm gonna pack like bags by preemie, preemie, newborn, all that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, vacuum seal them and then put them in this tote and label them. I have her looking at a little contrast book or she's supposed to be looking at it, but she's looking at mom and that's okay. Cause I'll just talk to her. But um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do at the moment. I'm trying not to cry. But this is so sad. You're not supposed to get that big that fast. These were like my favorite outfits on her. And I can still like squeeze them on her, but she's getting so like long that it kind of pulls at her shoulders. So it's just time for me to move on and time for me to put you in zero to three months, which is what I've been doing the last couple days, so. Mom's trying. I'm gonna try to keep her entertained and do this. And then I put the first load of laundry already in the thing. That is a fake cry. So that's at least done. Okay, so I packed her newborn clothes up and then she was getting fussy and it was close to her feeding time. So I went ahead and fed her. And now I've been laying here for like 45 minutes because I am so tired and she's sleeping on me at the moment. So I'll get her up here in a little bit and I will get up, but I just finished watching Lauren's video and now I'm watching Jess Conti's move-in video. And then I'm probably going to make lunch and I heard the laundry go off so I need to switch laundry and do that. But for now, this is reality. Sometimes, as a mom of a six week old, this ends up being how my days look. So it's just a couple minutes later, actually. It's 11.25 now. She started to wake up, so I was like, I need to get up. And I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make me lunch. I'm kind of just feeling blah. I don't, like, I don't know. A better word to describe it. I'm not sad, but I just feel like in a rut. I have so much I need to get done, and I know I'm gonna get it done, but it's like overwhelming me. But then I also just want to spend time with her, and she's still in that stage where some days she sleeps a lot, and some days she's awake way more. And on the days she sleeps a lot, I do try to like put her down and stuff so she's not napping on me for every nap. But at the same time, she's only six weeks old. <laughs> so I'm also trying to still do like some contact naps just because they're not gonna last much longer. And I'm like very aware of that. And you know, in a couple weeks, I'm gonna have to go to work three days a week. So I'm not gonna get as much of that. So there's just a lot happening in my brain. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed with everything and I feel, I don't know. I feel like Colby and I need a date night because my, I mean, both of our lives have revolved around taking care of her, which is perfect. And we love every second of it. And like, I don't want to be gone for more than a couple hours from her at a time. But at the same time, when Colby gets off work, you know, he wants to be able to hold her and spend time with her and everything because he doesn't get to see her all day. But and then by the time it's time to go to bed and I have to put her down, he's already falling asleep. So we don't get time to ourselves. And then weekends, literally we have had like one or two weekends to ourselves since she's been born, which has been quite literally exhausting. Like we love having family here, but 
I get overwhelmed and anxious and then we have to share her all weekend if someone's here and it's just, <laughs> mom's a little overwhelmed, but that's okay. It's part of it. I'm so happy. I just, there's some days that it's just a little overwhelming for my brain. <laughs> But I'm about to make me lunch. I'm going to finish Jess's video and then I'm going to start back on chores and everything. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. It's several hours later. I am sitting on the couch. Lila's sitting on my lap and she's wide awake right now. I feel a little better because I cleaned a lot. I used my in. I've done four loads of laundry. One's in the dryer right now, and then the other one I need to switch over, which is our bedding. I folded all of our clothes, folded all of her clothes, cleaned the dishes, unloaded the dishwasher. The only thing I have left to do is clean the kitchen, really, and then, of course, put our bedding back on our bed. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for dinner. Zero clue. But, for now, we're just chilling. I have spit up on my shirt. I didn't know I have that on my shirt. <laughs> I'm probably going to end this here because I don't really plan on doing much more today after I do those couple things. And I want to see if we can just go get Mexican food because the idea of cooking literally sounds terrible. So we shall see, but if you want to follow along more dance in the lives stuff like that um as a stay-at-home mom even though i'm not really a stay-at-home mom officially i still go to work one day a week right now and then i will my maternity leave will end here in a couple weeks but for now stay-at-home mom life with little girl um Please like and subscribe and follow along for more. See you in the next video. Bye.